That's why you, that's what you call a debate, a contradiction. You have a conflict between two, two different sides. Well, can two contradictory propositions both be true? Are you ever read Immanuel Kant? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yes, they could be true. Of course they can. I mean, look at the abortion debate. Well, One side. ask you a question about that. That's more interesting than any. Versus life. Both of them are correct. Right? Can they both be right? That a woman should have the right to, to uh, choose and decide whether to have an abortion or not, and at the same time she shouldn't have that right? If they weren't both right, we would still be arguing about it. Well, I, I think somebody's wrong. I mean, they're, they're because two, con who, two contradictory <laughs> propositions can't both be true. Uh, let me ask you this. That's why you have a right to choose. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. So is it the same to answer yes as it is to answer no? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, you, were, you said that two contradictory propositions could both be true. Oh, yes, they are. So, in that case, is it the same to answer yes as it is to answer no? To what? To anything, because the two contradictory propositions can both be true. It's, it's more nuanced than that. These aren't yes or no questions. Well, this is a yes or no question. Can they both be true? Two contradictory propositions. You, you, you said they can, so I'm asking you a second question, which is, is it the same to answer yes as it is to answer no? It could be. Well, if a lady, uh, a gentleman wants to have sex with a lady and she says no, is, does that uh, mean that she, he can't and it's different than if he says yes? Both sides aren't, aren't uh, true then, right? You right, that's, what I, that's my point. Two contradictory propositions can't both be true. I think... Uh, no, 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 well, they are both true. I mean, we're talking no, about... It's not the same to answer yes as it is to answer no. If she answers yes, it's okay for him to have the sex. There's only one question there, though. Right. which is you know, presented by one side toward the other, and the other side answers. Uh, and so uh, the other side does not want uh, sex, and, and both sides have to agree to it, otherwise it's right. not going to happen. And it's for different for her to say yes as it is to, uh, than it is to, for her to say no. It can be like 10 years in jail. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, uh, questions like uh, abortion and taxation, uh, you've got two different sides. Uh, but uh, one Somebody's got to be mistaken. Somebody's wrong on that issue. And, and you have debates in order to determine who. And, and these... Uh, uh, and you debate these things uh, thoroughly in the McLaughlin Group. And that's one of the reasons why I like the show. Because you have a thorough, a thorough debate on these issues. And, and, and I appreciate the fact that you're willing to examine the reasoning that supports your positions. This is what we need, more people like yourself. Well, you, you raised some good questions. I appreciate that too. Is there something else you would like to add? Um, because I know you're you're busy and you've taken you've taken some time. I know you haven't you haven't you have another interview and you've been very generous with your time. What kind of project are you working on? Well, we're just doing public policy interviews and we want to examine the reasoning that supports each position and see if it makes sense or not. And and that's why we asked you what we consider to be fundamentals. We didn't have time to deal with foreign policy. We didn't. No, 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 just a regular TV show, uh, we distribute it. So, uh, we didn't get a chance to discuss foreign policy, but I, I think you know you're probably more interested in the domestic policy, that's my impression. Well, yeah, that's more my specialty. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think you know you've been very generous and clear about your thinking, and uh, we appreciate that. And uh, uh, I can see that you're a great debater, and that's why you're in the McLaughlin Group. I was, I won a medal in high school. Okay. And you should, I can understand. I to go to law school, but I was too excited. I got into journalism instead. <laughs> well, it's, it's Great to nice meet you. Interview. Very nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much for the interview. Indeed. My pleasure. Good to meet you. Bye-bye.